Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles Screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up on Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome if you are new here. Today we are doing a huge clean, organize and declutter in my disaster kitchen. We are cleaning from top to bottom and inside and out. I'm cleaning appliances, I'm cleaning on top of the cabinets, inside of the cabinets. This video has tons of extreme kitchen organization. My kitchen was just a huge disaster. So it did take about two weeks to film this, but it really needed to get done. So if you have some cleaning, organizing or decluttering to get done, or if you need the motivation to get a head start on your spring cleaning, turn this video on any of your devices, your TVs, your tablets, your phones, because we are about to get it all done, y'all. This video is just jam-packed with tons of cleaning motivation, decluttering motivation, organization. Now let's hop right in. So the fridge has just been that area that has just got out of control. It is a complete disaster inside of my refrigerator, y'all. And every time I do these videos, my fridge always looks like this. No matter how I organize it, it just still ends up in this predicament. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take everything out as usual. And then I'm going to clean everything and then I'll organize everything. But look at how filthy it is y'all it's so much old food in here i did a poll over on my instagram because i we really overspent last month in january on groceries and we was just piling up this refrigerator with so much food and it was just going bad it was just it was just out of control in here but i did a poll and we spent fourteen hundred dollars on groceries for the month of january so that won't happen again because that's just out of control y'all but i hope that this video gives you tons of motivation and as always let me know what you are up to while you are watching today So this day to clean my fridge, I used the Dawn and then I used the Method Cleaner. It just really got the job done. If I had some Dawn Power Wash, I probably would have sprayed it down with that. But overall, the fridge really was not too filthy. Now the drawers were a completely different story. They were super, super filthy. But yeah, look at that. Look at that, y'all. That is just really disgusting, but yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and if you do go ahead and drop me some green hearts down below just drop me a comment and if you do like the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new
Give me some directions to get to you, to get to you. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind, on my mind, on my mind. Yeah, I'm going out of my mind, out of my mind, out of my mind. Yeah. For you, my love. You drive me crazy. Tell me what to do, what to do. I'm on my knees, yeah, I am begging you, begging you. I'll break the rules if it will get me to, get me to, yeah. I did change it up a little bit with all of the condiments. They are usually on the door, but I've noticed them like molding really fast. So I'm going to put them inside of the fridge on the top shelf. And I just added these little trays things that I already had around the house. And I just put them in the refrigerator. So I didn't buy go out and buy any new organization bins or any of that stuff for this video. I just used what I already had. All right, so now it's time to declutter, clean, and organize the freezer part. And it was pretty messy in here. The bottom part, of course, is a little bit dirty. So I'm going to get that all nice and clean. And then I'm going to throw away these bags. When we have like leftovers and stuff, I always like bag them up so I don't put them in the trash so it won't smell really bad and stuff. So I'll leave them in the freezer and until it's like trash day but i'm using like the same products on the freezer that i did in the fridge 
And I know after like the before and afters of the fridge, you guys are probably like, girl, it is still so much stuff in there. And it is y'all like it really is. And we had to like really eat everything, like all of it before we went grocery shopping again, because it was just way, way, way too much food, but it is still very cluttered, but it is clean. All right, so now it's time to declutter, clean, and organize the pantry. This is really not a pantry. I think this is the broom closet, but we just pretty much made it a pantry. We do have like another cabinet where we do store other items like food items, and then we have the closet and entryway that we use. So we use a lot of places to store food because we just don't have one big dedicated pantry closet for the food. But before I get too far into today's video, I just wanted to introduce myself to those who may be new here today. I'm Ryan Michelle. I'm a military wife and a mom of three. On my channel, you can find tons of cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. We are currently living in Germany and we will be here for the next year and a half. Our time is slowly winding down here, but I just wanted to update you guys. I know I mentioned over on my community about my family back home and we're just going through a lot right now. So I do appreciate all of the prayers and your messages. Thank you guys so much. Y'all are the sweetest community that I can just ask for. But thank you again. And I just wanted to let you guys know that for March, I'm not really sure how my content schedule will be because I do plan on going back home. And I just don't know how I'm going to just do all of that. But I will keep you guys updated over on my Instagram, my community, or just on my videos. So 
So here I'm just basically going through everything, making sure that I throw out all of the things that are expired, things that we don't need, things that we don't use, and just try to get a grip on stuff. The pantry didn't have, like it wasn't as crazy as the fridge, but there were some things in here that really needed to be decanted. And so I'll get that done and I'll be doing that, putting all of that stuff in mason jars. I really do like that system. I did that a while back. So I'm just continuing that system because it does work. And I'm just pretty much getting rid of all of the boxes and of course recycling them. But we did throw out a lot of food this day. And yeah, it was quite empty once I finished in this part and also in the cabinet. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here.
So I am just packing some snacks because I thought it was a wonderful idea to put all three kids in basketball. And y'all, for the month of February, it has been so busy, okay? Every single day we are involved in basketball. And oh my goodness, like it's a lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of late nights, a lot of late evenings. Like, yeah, February has just been super busy. So I'm pretty much doing the same thing in this cabinet, pulling everything out, decluttering it, and then I'll be cleaning it, wiping it down, and then I'm going to organize it. Let me know down in the comments if you have already started your spring cleaning, or is this video giving you tons of motivation to get started on your spring cleaning? Let me know. Like I said, I'm not really sure what my March schedule looks like. I usually start my spring cleaning in March. So I'm really not sure, but I do know whatever I did not clean in my kitchen on this video, it will be tackled in my spring cleaning. But I will never stay the same. So I will drive and drive and drive and drive. Baby, just so I can make it through the night. Yeah, I will drive and drive and drive and drive. So we can try to make it simple. Try to talk about what's on the mind.
So I did go ahead and spray down the oven and while I wait on that I'm just going to go ahead and tackle on top of the cabinets as you can see it is a disaster up here and then I'm going to be tackling on top of the fridge as well but that oven cleaner that I show y'all it is amazing like amazing and it doesn't even smell like anything it wasn't strong at all y'all already know I really don't wear masks and gloves and all of that stuff anyways but it really wasn't strong like at all I opened up the window and that was all because it wasn't strong at all and it was super easy to wipe down the oven after I think I let it sit for about 40 minutes maybe 30 to 40 minutes but it really did an amazing job and I have it linked in my Amazon store which is down below so go ahead and check that out if you are in need of an oven cleaner that works great. But on top of the cabinet is really like a junk place that we just like to throw things up there. And as you can tell, it's candy from Christmas, probably candy from Halloween. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw all of that stuff away. All of my candy lovers, I hope this one don't hurt y'all too bad. But I threw it all in the trash because I don't even let the kids eat candy. They'll probably eat candy like the first day. And it's a wrap after that.
get so numb, wanna get so numb, while we enemies? So I didn't show it really in the camera, but I am really rinsing out the rag in some hot soapy water because it does get really, really greasy. And even though you do wipe it down, you still have to go behind it again. And so I'll be going behind it with an SOS pad and then I'll be using the pink stuff.
I think this is day three of the huge clean declutter and organize and we are tackling the cabinets and some of the drawers and I just wanted to rearrange some things I'm not really doing too much in here because I've just really given up with the organization in some places some cabinets are just going to be what it's going to be um honestly y'all I'm just over it <laughs> I'm over the aesthetic thing like I'm just over it let me know if you can relate but some cabinets you just can't do all of that with so and my cabinets is just basic I have a basic kitchen so it's only so much I can do in this kitchen but we are halfway through the video and I hope that this video is giving you all of the motivation that you need to get up and tackle some cleaning in your house if you are getting tons of motivation don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up drop me some green hearts down below and subscribe if you are new Everyone else 
all your friends Tell them that you're gonna be late Cause I'm gonna need you to explain There's been a whole lot of trying Whole lot of crying Whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you But I don't wanna be like you There's been a whole lot of trying Whole lot of crying Whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you But I don't wanna be like you Cause I could do, I could do better I could do, I could do better So for this cabinet, this is where we keep our air fryer, toaster, any other smaller appliances. And I needed to clean out the toaster, which was not too bad. And then the air fryer, y'all already know, if you've been here for a minute, we go through this every time. <laughs> every time we clean this kitchen, we go through this. But the air fryer is just one of those areas that I just hate to clean. I cannot clean it every day. I cannot clean it after each use. I just can't stand it y'all and lately the whole kitchen has just been giving me that vibe like I just hate coming in here like I really do like the kitchen is just it's just been that spot that I just hate to see and it takes me forever to clean it like I can clean everywhere else in the house except for the bathroom but like the living room the main spots I can clean them with no problem but when it gets comes to this kitchen uh, I just hate to I just hate to do it y'all
this is the last day y'all and on this day I cleaned out this cabinet with all of our spices it was a mess so I'm gonna get that all vacuumed up and clean and then I'm just pretty much restocking and refilling a few of the spice things now I'm gonna be real with y'all I do not clean out these things after like every clean like one of these big cleans I don't do that unless it's necessary now I will like wash and wipe them down a little bit but they really don't get too bad it's one in there that I really needed to wash like separately in the soap and water which I did off camera but other than that I really don't do that unless it's like completely empty and then I wash it but honestly I just restock it and keep it going y'all <laughs> I know that's probably wrong, but I mean, it's just real life. Like, who has time to keep sitting here and washing all of these containers out every time? I don't. So, yeah, but that's what I'm doing. I'm also going to be organizing and cleaning underneath the, um, the kitchen sink. And I'll be rearranging some things under there, too. I'll also be cleaning, decluttering, and organizing the cabinets behind me. The cabinet door is finally fixed on that one cabinet that my son broke. So, hallelujah. I'm so happy that that's fixed and done with. But I will be rearranging some things in there too. We normally keep hair products on that other side. But I decided to move them out of the kitchen and I moved them upstairs in the playroom. I did recently do a big declutter in that closet. So, it was plenty of space.
we could rearrange But I'm not even gonna try If you don't wanna stay So how's it gonna be? You got me on my knee I don't need no roses on my bed If I could pull you closer to me Watching videos of us 
I have been trying to get rid of your stuff But voices in my head are telling me to stop It's all I have left, all I have of you Thought I was smart so we do have way too many plates so I was just going through the plates and trying to find plates that have like really bad stains on them. Majority of the white ones were pretty stained so I just went ahead and got rid of those. Alright y'all, we are near the end of the video. I truly hope that this huge clean, declutter, and organize gave you tons of motivation. 
let me know what was your favorite before and after i will have to say mine is the under the sink organization and the cabinet that i'm still working on so make sure you keep watching so you can see that before and after but i feel like moving all of the products to the cabinet makes me i can see the products now underneath the sink y'all know i'm tall so it's kind of hard to see in the back the way i had it that first organization system it just wasn't working out so this one has been working out and i only put the things that i reach for every single day underneath the sink but i hope that this video just gave you tons of motivation thanks for being here and whether you're watching in the morning the afternoon or the evening i hope you have a good one bye y'all Thank you.